In a campo, any amount of rain has some neighbors anxious and on guard. You'll remember it flooded there in January. Yeah, boy, do we remember. Well, tonight we send CBS 13's Madison Keevy to the Arbor Home Mobile Park to see what's happened since. Madison. Marla, you can still see some of that damage at one of these homes here from January. The whole bottom panel of the home has yet to be replaced. No one has moved back in. The neighbors I talked to here don't need this literal reminder of what happened and say anytime there's rain in the forecast, they get a little uneasy. When the waters were up, they were up to like right here. I, uh, they, they were up so far when we got rescued that it was in my rain boots. It's been three months since Melissa Udall's home was fixed with FEMA funds. That came eight months after she evacuated her Acampo home because of flooding. Every it time it rains, I have PTSD. Udall's neighbors shared that feeling with us too. One told me she's anxious about any amount of rain. And another said he isn't sure there have been significant changes. There's a lot of talk, but we'll see what happens. And, um, you know, it's, you know, pretty scary. Feet of water moved into this neighborhood in January. A CBS 13 investigation revealed the pump installed to keep this from happening was turned off by multiple agencies, including CHP and Caltrans, to keep the highway open. Neighbors have learned to keep an eye on the forecast. We haven't had a, a major rain yet, but when we do, hey, everybody in here will be scared. <laughs> I know that. Now, the county told FEMA earlier this year that a campo floods and has the potential of flooding every decade, and it's likely that this area will flood again. They're blaming not just vandalism, but also a poorly functioning valve on a levee. And now the County Office of Emergency Services is looking into writing grants to help lower that flood risk.